one thing which is not going to go away when it comes to artificial intelligence is fine tuning every day i am observing that things are evolving things are changing lot of concepts which we were thinking that uh, would stay they are no longer here tools are coming tools are going but one thing is not changing is how we tailor and customize these large language models to our own tasks on our own custom data sets that is what fine tuning is all about where we take a pre trained large language model and then we customize it according to our own use case in this video i am going to introduce you to another fine tuning tool called as x tuner which is quite efficient and quite performant it is an open source free tool which claims that it is faster than any other fine tuning tool out there so it is flexible it is full featured toolkit for fine tuning large language models it supports different kinds of fine tuning which includes continuous pre training instruction fine tuning agent fine tuning and various training algorithms such as qlora lora full parameters and i have separate video where i go into different techniques this also supports pre training and fine tuning on almost all gpus it offers a high training throughput by automatically dispatching high performance operators such as flash attention and triton kernels it supports llm vlm pre training fine tuning on almost all gpus x tuner is also capable of fine tuning 7 billion large language models on a single 8 gp gpu and that is what my interest is in this x tuner because we know that most of us don't have powerful gpu systems either we have 8 gp gpus or maybe 16 uh, gp vram gpus so it is really really important to have this sort of tooling which could enable us to at least fine tune this 7 billion llm on a single commodity 8 gp gpu and that is what we will be doing in this video we will be installing this x tuner locally and then we will be using this x tuner on a custom data set to fine tune a model but if you have multi node multi gpu cluster you can also use x tuner so for example if you want to fine tune or train models more than 70 billion model parameters you can uh, also do that quite easily this automatically dispatches high performance operators such as flash attention and triton kernels to increase training throughput another cool thing is that it is compatible with deep speed which utilizes a lot of uh, techniques for zero optimization so deep speed i have covered already on my channel if you are interested just search it on the channel you should find it so enough theory let's go to my local system and then we will we will get it installed for the local system i am using ubuntu 22.04 i have one gpu of 16 gb vram on this one but um, you can use it the command which i am going to use you can use them simply on 8 gb gpu also i will be putting all the commands in my blog and i'll drop the link in video description let me clear my screen now the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have conda installed conda or anaconda is a tool which is very very useful when it comes to machine learning operations and um, it keeps everything sim simple and separate and you don't worry have to worry about lot of things so if you don't already have it installed please install it and if you don't know how to do it i have separate video so please search the channel and this is how you cre create a virtual environment with conda i am creating a virtual environment with the name of x tuner and i'm just specifying python 3.10 with it so let's wait for it to finish that is already done let's activate this conda environment and you will see that it appears in this parenthesis here now let's install this x tuner with the deep speed integration and command of doing that is very very simple let me take it there you ju you just need to do pip install and x tuner and that is installing it so let's wait for it to finish you don't take too long now 
So XTuner is installed. I have cleared my screen. Now the good thing about XTuner is that it comes with a lot of um, preset configs which you can use to fine tune the models. So just do XTuner list dash CFG and it is going to print out lot of configs. So for example, if you want to fine tune Quen model, G models, uh, Zephyr and Mixtron, Lava, Lama 2, Lama 3 and the list goes on and on, Phi, Gemma. You see, these are all the configs which they have built in so that you don't have to worry about it. So you can select any 7 billion one or 6 billion one, anything less than 7 billion for your 8 GB uh, GPU so that you could fine tune it on locally. So you see that we already have a lot of configs which makes it easier. Installation of XTuner is done at this point. You now need to put your data set so you can just grab your data set. Let me clear the screen. Just create a directory, you know, on the wherever you are on your root directory, maybe, and then cd to that data directory. And this is where you can copy your data set. I will be just using uh, OST data set from Hugging Face. For that, let me install git lfs install. Okay, so let me okay, let me quickly install the git here. I'll just first to the curl here and it is going to install it on Ubuntu. It will take a bit of a time. And then I'm going to install the git lfs. Let's wait for it to finish. That repo is set up and now let's install git lfs. Let's wait for it and that is almost done. Let's clear the screen and now we can run our git lfs install here. LFS is done. That is for the large files because that data sets are normally large. Now, once that's initialized, you can git clone it from Hugging Face. So this is a URL of it, and it is going to clone it in this working directory where we are. So let's do it. And it sometimes takes a bit of a time, depends on your download speed. Let's wait for it. That is done. Let's to ls ltr and you can see that you already have that data set and this is all of your data set at the moment in the gzip format you can unzip it if you like and you also have something in the data directory there you go so your train and your validation set so i'm just going to maybe grab this data folder and i will use it for training and validation so let me clear the screen here Okay, so our data set is all set. Now we need to fine tune our model. Now, if you want to fine tune your model, all that you need to do is to use this command xtuner train and then whatever your model name is. I am using internal lm2 chat 7 billion with qlora and this is a data set which we are using and I am using the deep speed, deep speed with uh, 0 to optimization and just press enter and it is going to fine tune this model on your custom data set so it is running at the moment let's wait for it to provide some things loading the model I just need to wait here for some time i will let it run and you can see how good the speed is and now it is downloading downloading the model which comprises of around eight shards so let's wait for it to finish. Hopefully it will fit on my GPU. It is downloading the final shard now. 8 out of 8. So let's wait for it, this one to finish. It's going to take too long now to download and consolidate and validate the shards. Shards were loaded and fine tuning process has begun. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so you can see that fine tuning is happening and the ETA is 6 hours and 14 minutes. And just 3 minutes have passed. So I'm not going to wait for 6 hours. Um, and it could depend on your system load too. It could increase. But you can see that how easy it is to fine tune any 7 billion model with the help of this X tuner. All you need to do is to prepare your data set, download it, just put it in a directory and then run two or three commands with this deep speed 
and it is going to point to unit so amazing amazing project um i think i'm going to delve more deeper into it and the list of model it supports is growing pretty rapidly which is awesome and amazing i will drop the link to it in video's description uh, play around with it and let me know how you go by the way once it is done you can even chat with your new model by using xtuner it is quite simple and easy there is only one command which you can use and you can find that in their repo and lot of other goodies are there that's it guys let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching